so we just finished round. There were so many patients. Now off to surgery. It is 6 a.m. I am about to scrub in to a gastric sleeve, a laparoscopic, what is it? A laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. When I first started this rotation, I did not know that some of these surgeries are so quick. Like the surgeon spends like 15, 20 minutes in there. And I thought surgeries were like hours and hours long, so it's wild. So it's six. He's about to finish the first surgery, so I'll keep you updated on how many he does. And this is where we go to scrub in, wash your hands. You hit that with your knee, and you just scrub in. You get one of the sponges, and it has a nail cleaner in there. Don't be fooled, though. This is nothing like Grey's Anatomy. No drama occurring at these sinks. And it has to be all sterile and we wash our hands and our fingers and then all the way up our arms and then we can't touch anything. Um, we usually just scrub it. That hammer is some other surgeries going on in there. They look like some astronauts. They're like fully decked out in PPE. Meanwhile, my surgery. But yeah, we scrub in like once in the morning with actual like the sink and water and stuff. And then for the other surgeries, we just use Avgar. But yeah, I scrub it in the morning with the sponge and you gotta get like your fingers first, first your nails and then your fingers and then your hand and then like up your arm and you have to keep your arm like this and then you go in and they put the glove and they put the gown on you and the gloves on you but then after the first surgery if you scrub in for other surgeries you only really have to use this Avogard and you basically scrub it on the same way except it dries and you just press that and pump it and rub it into your hands and then same thing arms up and they do the same thing except you don't have to wash. So that's pretty convenient. This is one of the best things. Blankets, 130 degrees. They're so warm. Oh, I love it. It's for the patients before and after surgery, just because it's freezing cold in the operating room. Okay, so today is Saturday. It does not even feel like a real day. It just like downpoured, but now I'm going home. Okay, so this morning I had to go in at, what time did I have to go in? Four o'clock for pre-rounds. And so we pre-rounded with the doctor. And then after that, there was no surgery. So we finished the paperwork and the stuff on the computer. I usually doesn't do surgeries unless like it's an emergency on the weekends. So most of the surgeries, he was like, okay, scheduled for Monday. And there was this a gentleman who had like dry gangrene on his feet. And he was like, okay, like you're getting a knee amputation on Monday. So we were like, okay, sweet, like nothing today. So, okay, we finished doing all the stuff and making sure the patients ambulate and um, putting in the last few labs. And then we're like, okay, we can go. So I go home. And I go to Chicago, I go to the city to go see like, there's like a Navy air show or something going on and there's airplanes and it was so cool. And then I come back and as soon as I'm home, chilling in my room, he's like, okay, new consult in the ER and we're doing the amputation today. And yeah, it was so cool. I got to saw off his leg. I would rather go in for an amputation over like a cholecystectomy where I'm just helping suture. Like this time I actually got to do stuff. Yeah. So it feels like I had three days in one, so that was pretty cool. Hey party people, or med students, which are party people. If you're not subscribed already, come on, hit that subscribe button, help your girl out. Hey, so I just finished rounds with the doctor, which is basically where you go around and you see each patient with the doctor and you write down what he says. Um, well, first you present the patient and, is that crooked? Okay. First you present the patient patient is a 
70 year old male with this this and then you say all their vitals and all their labs and any tests and then you say the plan you have for them and the doctor will agree or he'll tell you you need to do this plan and then put in orders for this but the thing is before rounds we have pre-rounds which is just the students so we have to get here two hours before the doctor says which is rough because the doctor will say rounds at 5.45, so we have to get here at 3.45, so that's fun. But we get here and pretty much do exactly the same thing. We write um, about the patient, we go ask the nurse if there was anything that happened, and then we go see the patient and examine them, and write the note, and come up with the plan. Which is actually like pretty fun because my other rotations didn't have this much freedom. Not that I have too much freedom, but like I can go see the patient on my own and talk to the doctor and say what I think to do or what I think. Usually I would be in surgery right now after rounds, but according to the schedule, I'm on floors. And floors is basically, I go check up on the patients, go make sure what the doctor says is being done. And if there's any new consults, then I go see them. There's really pros and cons to both, like being on floor and doing OR. There's a lot of surgeries. You get to see a lot of cool stuff, but then you're on your feet for like 12 hours. Whereas if you're on floors, you can go see the new consults, which is cool. And But if there's none, then it's boring and you're sitting here for a few hours. It's not as long, but it's just a few hours. So, But I'm going to be in the OR tomorrow. So finally get to see some surgeries. And also on floors, we have to update all the surgeries. So whenever there's a surgery, we put it on this file and then we can send it to the doctor at the end of the day. And then we have to update each patient so that all the other students are informed about what's going on with this person, like what they need or what to do for them. So we just like kind of keep everything updated. And like the really cool thing about rounds is that you're literally like individually with the doctor, maybe not individually, there'll be like two or three other students. And I feel like I learn something new every day or see something like how to do an examination or different things to look for or different tests just learn new stuff all the time and see cool things. So it's like 10 o'clock. He already finished eight surgeries, I think, and there's like two or three left, so should be leaving quite soon, hopefully. <laughs> there are mostly like gastric sleeves, gastric bands, um, appendectomies, um, hemorrhoidectomy. He does mostly GI and like bariatric surgeries, so yeah. Hey, so today is Friday and I'm on PM floors, so I'm here from about 12 to 5 and then I'm on call from 5 to 7, so probably, I don't know if I'll stay. I didn't stay last time, I went home at 5 or 6 and there was no new consults, so I pretty much got to stay, but if there is a new consult then I would have to come back and I live like 5-10 minutes away so it's not that bad. Pretty much on floors. First, when I get here, I get relayed all the information from the person who was on AM floors, and they tell me like check labs on this person, like go to the, go see this person, blah blah blah. If there's a new consult, I have to go see them, and then pretty much I have to check on all that stuff and then update the doctor. So I just saw a new consult for someone who needed a pick line, and yeah, so I just did a new consult on that and then brought him down to the OR because. As soon as I was in there doing consult, the doctor was like, okay, let's go, it's time for surgery. I was like, okay. So then, yeah, finished up, got him to sign the consent, and yeah, now he's probably already put under. Yeah, pretty much I just have to keep refreshing the patient list to see if there's any new patients, and then just wait for a text to see if there's new patients in the ED. And then I would also scrub in, too, for any surgeries if the people who are on OR in the morning are not here, but they are still here, so... That's why I didn't have to scrub in for the pick line. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you want to apply to St. James, you can send me an email. It's probably on one of the comments below or in the description.